What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Welcome to Shell Beach, Louisiana. You guys, we got some locals here. We got Mr. Jeff, Mr. Todd. Yes, sir. We got our good buddies, JB's 34 Freeman. Yesterday we went on this boat and caught the biggest mangrove snapper I have ever seen in my life. You do not want to put your finger in there. The day before that, we were on triple tail charters in Venice, Louisiana and caught two big swordfish. And the day before that, we were with the Fish Intimidator Lodge and caught our limit of big red snappers. But today is a different video. It's all about the community of Shell Beach, Louisiana. This is a commercial fishing industry like I've never seen before. They have oyster boats and they have blue crab boats and they have shrimp and boats. And we're about to cook up some of all three tonight. But before we go and start cooking, Today, Crystal and I went for a ride. We've been here a couple times, but I've never really got to like look around the island. Tell them what we saw today, babe. What were they sorting? Crabs. <laughs> Lots of crabs. <laughs> Blue crab. So we were just driving down the road and we drove past this pavilion that looked like this and there was a bunch of guys underneath there with a pile of Blue crabs about three foot tall and they were sorting them. So of course I pulled over, talked to them. They were super nice. And they said that there was a certain fish that lived in the water right where they sort the crabs. And Crystal Beachy grabbed her rod. Y'all just watch this. He's getting her chummed up. She needs one piece of bait. This is our Stunner X Fitzgerald Fishing. Best of the best. This rod is whooping these drums of butt. Thank you. <laughs> hey boy! Hey! Uh oh! Yeah, he's big. Probably thirty Told you. Don't fall in that hole. Get him! Pull him hard! Don't give him anything. You got him? I told you as soon as you throw. God. Who's gonna reach down there and land him? Babe, hey, that's a giant. Dang. You don't care. You guys, we just came down the road, saw these awesome dudes sorting crabs. Mentioned that we like the fish and they're like, hold up. You want to catch something? Hold him up, babe. That's probably the ugliest fish I've ever seen in my life. I'll tell you what, if you can catch them about 15, 20 pounds, they could eat. Really? It tastes just like a redfish. That's a black drum. Oh, yeah. You can catch them with your hand. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Jack. Jack just pulled up to sell his crabs and he asked me, he goes, do y'all know anybody in Okeechobee? I said, that's where we're from is Okeechobee. You do not want to reach in there. Those crabs aren't cold. Uh-oh. She's dropping back down again. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Babe, that didn't even take a minute. Yeah. <laughs> You guys, she's in heaven. <laughs> that rod wears them out. Look at him. This one is bigger. Here. Here, you're gonna have to hold that. Don't drop it, it's filming. Golly. <laughs> He's a bona fide giant. Listen to him drumming. She caught the same fish. No, this one's bigger. She just caught the same one, didn't she? Babe, oh, hey, you turned him loose and caught Look at the little whispers on them right there. I thought at first they were worms, but they all have it. Yeah, they're whiskers. Well, That's how they... they bite. No. Hear that? I wish you could hear that. Yeah, he's drumming. I'm going to need your help getting this hook out. Yeah, you see that boy at the ball lately or what? The what? You see the ball? There we go. Big old biggin. That's awesome. He's peeing. He's peeing on you again. Babe, let me feel that right arm. Let me feel that right arm right here. Is it sore? Have you ever caught as many fish as you have in the last three days? It's been insane. What you got in this cooler? You guys, if you're a blonde with a country accent, look what you can find. Look what you can just drag up on the dock. This is a whole bushel of this giants. Has been. Listen, I have an uncle in Delaware that commercial crab fishes. So I've grown up on blue crab when we went to visit. So I am excited. This is like the lottery. We got a, a whole bushel. We got oysters. Fresh it ones. It is July. And we've been told you're only supposed to eat oysters in the months of N and ER. But these are good. These are safe. They said as soon as they pull them out of the water, they go on ice. The coolest thing about this seafood is it was caught today. These crabs were caught today and these oysters were harvested today. And as soon as they came out of the water, they were washed and put in the refrigerator. And even right now they're freezing cold. But look what we got right here, folks at home. I'm telling you guys, with her charm and those looks, we were able to get a basket full of shrimp, a bushel full of crabs. What do you call it? A sack of oysters. Sack of oysters. Sack of oysters. Not a bad one. So right here, we got some Zadarans. Babe, twist this for me. Open up that pot and dump her on in. It's not too hot. Just dump the whole thing in there. Hot. Hot. Dump the whole thing. You guys, just watch this. We're starting with the shrimp. Nothing more than a little jar of Zatarans. Mr. J. Are you ready? What are we going to do tomorrow? Well, you said you were going shrimp. No, I'm going. This boat ain't leaving me. You guys, we're going for round two on the monster mangroves, and I'm going with you. You ain't I, kicking me out of the boat. I thought you were going shrimp. I'm going to hide in that coffin box, and you won't even know I'm there. That's the best place, probably. It's cold. I say we're going to go catch some mangroves tomorrow. We're definitely going to catch some mangroves. Please. What about these tail? I heard a rumor had it Joe VT Fishing's been here. Yes, he has. You guys. Mr. JB just recently purchased this Freeman beautiful boat and Joe VT came down with Todd. Were you here, Jeff? And we had no, an trip. incredible day of fishing. Incredible day of fishing with I Joe mean, VT, the, bro. The proof's in the pudding. That's pretty good for a bunch of dumb, uh, right. hey, dumb dumbs. Two swordfish and how many yeah. wahoos? Five, five. five in five. one day. Yeah. That's a pretty good day. Here, I'll, I'll right here. What are these things? That's for shucking them? Yeah. That's for the ones that don't... That's a lead. That's what they call oyster lead. 
I ain't never seen such a thing. Y'all, we're fixing to eat like kings. This is the first trip that I've ever been on to Louisiana and it hasn't rained. For the last four days, it's been on an average 100 degrees and it's zero wind. Tomorrow, it's actually supposed to start to blow a little bit and some afternoon storms, which we're ready for it. We're ready for a breeze. Oh, dang, that was easy. Yeah. I mean, that ain't nothing but a big old booger. That's it. Get it down. Babe, you gonna eat that? She's gotta have it's cocktail the big one, right? The best is you wanna get the juice still in it. Get that out of there. Ooh, no thank you. No, me neither. No, thank you. <laughs> you won't do it. It's good. You won't it's do good. it. Go for it. So you wanna get it? JB, uh, you'll eat a raw oyster? Give me one. There you go, Mr. Gabe. It's the sucking noise that gets me. No, no, That's what they always say. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. I'll eat some crazy stuff, but there's something about an oyster that I don't like. I don't like them fried. I don't like them. Uh, Tugboat and I did clean some one time. We went and harvested our own oysters and we put some butter and bacon and cheese and they were okay. But shrimp, crabs, fish, sushi, I love. I ain't eating a raw oyster. Oh heck, these shrimp are already about done. I don't know that we're gonna make it through the orchard. Do we know? Uh, well, I need some more oysters. Crystal's going to look. Oh, here she comes. Watch she's this. she's got the cocktail sauce and Tabasco sauce. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of grit. Crystal, I can't do it, folks. We cooked. I I say, you know what was one of the best things I've had in a long time? Were them fried crappie we cooked at your house. Those, Those were good. Those were bad, I oh, guarantee look, hey, We got the crappie, man. I'm telling we, you. We gotta go to Toledo, man. I don't know if Blue gave the video with Cuz. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this meat's pretty rough. <laughs> mm -mm. No? You wanna even like try it? I like my man Cuz now. He's, he's on the rough side. For us to say he's on the rough side, he's rough. <laughs> I'm telling you, cause <laughs> this is a rough crew around here. That man, he's like, look, we're riding. He's like, he's like Jason. All right, these shrimp. Gosh, I did it again. They're getting a raw and uncut video. That's just what they're getting. Let's see. These shrimp are done. These shrimp were swimming today. Just a minute. This oyster was swimming just a minute ago, and I'm going to eat it. I'm telling you. All right, here we go. Tall girl, here it goes. You got it. It don't get no better than that. <laughs> Where's that old bay, babe? Look how good. Uh -oh, we got shrimp. Yeah. We got fresh oysters. We got a good shucking crew. Look at him. Out of boy. Right here. Cocktails. Peter's the best shocker, not Peter. Peter. Nice. Let me tell you what. Right there, folks. What. We're about to go to town. Next up is the crab. You can see I dumped out the water to the level below this grate. Add some more Zatarans, just really for the vinegar, in my opinion. I'm going to take these unfortunate blue crabs right here. And I'm going to one handed dump them in the pot. Put them on, put the lid on, and they will be ready in about five minutes. I wish my son Luke and Jake were here, but if Luke was here, he'd be having one of those crabs in his pocket trying to save him. That boy don't like to see a crab die. <coughs> Listen, Gabe. Was it hot or what? Look, try this. This guy fished with us today. It's his good? Season, it? he, he's the one that writes for. Uh, here, let me see it. I don't Martian think I by you. And uh, you guys, this dude fished run, with run JB today. Was he a nice guy? Yeah, really nice, nice guy. guy. Should they buy he a seasoning? He can't fish for nothing, but he's a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice guy. Let me see, babe. Are they good? Listen, I think I need to tell you something. Huh? I think I might be a Bayou girl. <laughs> we'll have to tell true and you. true. <laughs> Are you gonna be a coon ass, babe? I think so. She's in training. She's in training. <laughs> That's a lot of training right there. Yeah. So I had to take a break from cooking the crabs for a second to melt me some butter. The crabs are actually probably, oh yeah, they're done. But I can't eat crab without butter. 
You guys, this there's no place on earth I'd rather be than right here. We're good friends, my beautiful girlfriend, spending time where I love, Louisiana. The only way it could be better is if my family and my kids were here. Other than that, I'm in heaven. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Look at that. Woo, son, she just looked at me like she was going to jack me. I am watching them on melting butter. Babe, are all these shrimp from you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it gotta be because he got his own pile. Oh yeah. Babe, let me let me. Just, you ain't peeled me one yet. Oh sorry, here. I'm over here melting you butter. Oh yeah, it's almost done. Here's with that seasoning. With the seasoning. Ooh, yeah. This poor shrimp right here was swimming down the intercoastal today, minding his own business. Hey, look at the fish eating that right there. Catfish. Minding his own business. Tons of catfish. I think we could catch another drum too if we wanted to. Now he's about to go down the hatch. I like my shrimp with a little bit of cock out. You ready for the crabs? Yep. I like this straight cat. <laughs> Different kind of cocktail. It's not that hot. Yeah. It's not that hot. It's hot, folks. Once I boil a crab, you always have Look out. Oh no, it sorry. fogged up the camera. We got crab. We got shrimp. We got. We had oysters. Now they're gone. <laughs> we got a hot butter tray. A hot butter tray. Where's the crackers? We have no crackers. I've always been told you grab him right here yeah. and just open him up. Now watch my trick. Come here, where the hose at? Come here, babe. There you are. Now this might offend some people, but not me. I'm blowing all them guts out. All the gills just came right off. <laughs> Beachy, what okay. I've learned with her will eat anything. And she just said I blew out the best part. Look at that right there. Just no season, How much butter and crap. That's what I'm talking about. You can't beat that fresh crab meat. You don't even really need need any butter on it. That's good. Literally, I don't think it's any fresher than that. All right, y'all. She's fixing to show us how she really, does it. I really, really like Old Bay. So I like lather it. And well, babe, you do bay. realize that if you put it on the shell, you ain't eating it. You dip it in it after you get it out. Rip them open. There ain't even hardly no you mustard got, in that You one. locked out on That's that one. Mustard? You eat that? No. Here you go. Babe, he got all the mustard. You got a lot of mustard you want on the mustard? that one. I don't deliberately eat it, but... And then I just get all the meat out and eat the meat. But if you rinse it out, that ain't good. Yeah, it gets all that nasty guts out. Mm -mm. You ah, like crab? Crab is my favorite. Crab and a tomato is my favorite food. Not at the same time. A crab and a tomato I can sandwich? Eat crab as much as I can a tomato. Y'all, we're just living life, but we're about to. Hey, we got a lot of seafood if y'all want to eat. Hey Gabe, park that big old truck and come eat with us. You guys, that's pretty much it. You just saw us cook some crabs, clean and shuck and eat some oysters, some shrimp. We're gonna put this camera down and enjoy each other's company. We got about 30 minutes of light left. We're gonna pack this boat up and get ready for a whole nother day tomorrow. You got anything you want to say to your fans at home? Um, not really. I'm a little busy. <laughs> You guys, huge shout out to Jeff. Oh Ooh, man, peace out. Huge shout out to Mr. Jay Brandt, Mr. Todd, even Mr. Gabe over there. I don't know who he is. We got another pot of crabs ready to come out right now. Ah, uh, they got about another minute. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.